Hello everyone and welcome back to Reentry, where during the 52nd anniversary of Apollo 11, I live streamed myself conducting the mission while listening to the in-time audio from ApolloInRealTime.org. This video contains the lunar module power-up and the landing on the moon. During the live stream and immediately prior to what you will see, I reviewed some of the lunar module tutorials, but those weren't really perfect and I didn't get to the landing sequence during those. In between the LEM activation and the landing, because the real mission takes some time between those events, uh, I give the landing tutorial another go and that time it works. The trick is though, in the save state uh, from launch, I might have gotten something wrong that would have already been set up right in the tutorial. We'll see. So with that, I give you the original audio from the live stream. That should equalize the pressure, right? Right? It was haphazard, but it worked. In theory, doing that should equalize the pressure, right? But it's not. Oh, now it is. Okay. Okay. So that's good. Open hatch. All right. Switch to lem. I'm actually just gonna close the hatch now. Mm, flashlight. All right. Checklist. Uh, maybe I shouldn't close the hatch. <laughs> it is a little bit dark in here. All right. So. Okay. There is a thing that we need to change. S-band antenna open. All right. EPS activation and checkout. Adjust lighting. I want it bright. Yeah. Oh, next one. They're getting ready for undocking. Oh, I'll just check all attempts first and then click through. Okay. Sorry, trying to get through this as quickly as possible. Uh, verify volts, yep. We end up on inverter 2. So basically, we de disconnected from the service module power. And checking that we do have power, I think. Okay. Okay, yeah, it's supposed to be more than 35 volts. Okay. Nope, nope, we still need that. I don't suppose they kill us if we've got the glycol loop configured wrong, do they? Mission timer. We're really activating everything now. FDAI. Ordeal. More ordeals. <laughs> I still understand why we skip half the things. I don't even know why we skipped that one flight display thing before. Why didn't we just do that with the rest of them? That's open? That's supposed to be open? Gosh. They threw me a curveball there. Well, those are the same warning lights that we had when I did it before, so we'll just assume that that's okay. Primary sublimator. My favorite checklist. 
Lighting. Why do we have to do this? I want brighter lights. Anyway. Whatever. Why am I toggling everything up and down? <laughs> Configure lighting as desired. Okay. On. Uh, uh, whatever. On. <laughs> um, I want it bright in here, please. Okay. Is it right in here? It doesn't feel like it. <laughs> I think it's just te testing the warning lights. This is a thing airplanes we have to do too, so. I'm going to s skip that. That I, I will skip. Oh, you mean this one? Is it this one that you want me to skip? Fine. I thought I convert. I confused EPS and ECS. All right. VHF. This one actually says under heavy development that can be skipped. Okay. Um, batteries. Do we need to activate the ascent batteries now? I guess I don't know. I feel like that's maybe something we don't need to do. Let me pause on that. Pre-pressurization. Okay, well, let's just... DPS pressurization. Ah, camera. Okay. Well, the push button, uh, th those are breakers. Those are breakers. A lot of these are turn switches. But some these, the, these are toggles. It depends on what it's doing. They'll already be undocked by the time they do AOS. Okay, we close it again. I don't know what that was supposed to do, but it makes me feel a lot better when things are closed. Closed a master alarm circuit breaker? Okay. Master alarm circuit breaker. And hit the master alarm, I assume. Um so Given the fact that we have a master alarm. <laughs> what should we what should we think about that? We have CES, AC, CES, DC, and RCS, TCA lit. I was trying to do the RCS pressurization, but I'm not sure we've got that right. These should be closed, right? I feel like I want them closed. Does that make sense? Or is that wrong? I think everything should be closed. I want the cabin fan closed. I want the... <laughs> I want it all closed. This to monitor the thing. Well, I deflect a little bit, but it doesn't give me the numbers. Well, here it closes those things that I wanted to close. I I don't I don't think that's right at all. I don't even think 
Yeah. Now it's not reading any inputs. Okay, okay, okay. Clear. It's not even... Reading an R1 now. This is a one hour control at 100 hours, 14 minutes. We're now less than two okay, minutes. Okay, we can't start my bitch. That's fine. Yeah, uh, 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 not flying up away yet, Mike. Next we hear from them. Uh, the lunar module should be undocked from the command and service module. Well, that's nominal. Okay. Those are basically the numbers that we had before, so it's probably non-essential, the other stuff. Here's what where you want me to do verb 2, 1, I think. Oh, I think it meant plus, plus 3. Okay, clear. Right, that's familiar. No, three, four, honestly. It keeps skipping things. See, so you skip that three there. Landing gear deploy. Well, if we're gonna do the thing, I guess we might as well. Well, we're getting the wings. <laughs> Verify landing gear deployed. How? I can't see anything. Let's just wait a while. We're not gonna be in the right time like this. Okay. Yes, landing gear is deployed. Okay. Okay, undocking from the CSM. Obviously, there's not going to be. Uh, let's switch to CSM. Ah. I'm ready to start my yaw maneuver if I suit you, Mike. Okay, let me just kill rates. I have no idea what this is supposed to be ticking right now. Okay, um, that'll be fine. Test RCS, good point. Um, so we've switched to here. External. Um, well, we have some RCS. I don't know which orientation is which, but okay. Let's go back to the CSM and kill the rates that that produced. Okay. All right. So uh, let's see. Power off. Don't think we need the tunnel lights. Well. I think we're go for release. I closed the hatch and everything. Really dark. Okay. I don't intend to land faster than them, though. If we've got extra time, I can go do the tutorial again. Zero, zero, seven, five, nine, plus, 
but we've got a master alarm in here. I want to start the... I am you. No, it says the no attitude thing is off now. Does that look like our attitude? Nope. We're pointing it away from the surface of the moon. Well, I guess I better test I can turn. I can. It looks like we have to do, we have to lower our altitude first. We'll do that with uh, RCS. I don't know if there's limited ignitions on the descent engine. Okay, but we have to orient too. I just clicked something I shouldn't have. I think that was, was that one. Yeah, roll and yaw are decoupled. I mean, are the wrong way around. All our controls are messed up. Um. Oh, my my forward is controlling. That's not good. My forward is sideways. And uh, did did you just give us a? I'm looking at that periapsis number, and we need to get that to 1752. I'm just using the RCS for that. Hopefully we have unlimited RCS. We've got time as long as the 15 kilometer altitude doesn't cause us to crash. That's really a really bumpy moon, I'm just saying. That's bumpier than I'm used to seeing it. Okay, so... That's a low enough PE. Will it give me a PDI now? Okay, well... We'll see about that. I want to land in the flat area. I think they see a tranquility somewhere around. So, I'm gonna move the landing point. If I can. There we go. That looks like a good spot. Okay, um, so I'll, I'll try what you've got. Mm. Verb 06, noun 18. I was hoping it would automatically turn. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, we're eventually going to turn away from the moon. Let's see exactly when we hit the horizon and compare. Well, let's see. Nah, this is pointing up already. We're still pointing down there. So it's not right. You want mode continuous? Okay. Oh, yeah. Things are happening. It's wiggly. Let's have dead band max so it doesn't do that so much, maybe. That. Now, see, what we just did should have changed our orientation by 110 degrees. <laughs> this is more than 110 degrees. Five, eight, five, Still four, normal. Zero, zero, huh. nine, 11, T3, one, zero, four, three, and again, yes, four, I can one, manually zero, turn. But uh, if we're in the dark, that's going to be a problem. At least we don't have to deal with comms. <laughs> that's one thing we don't have to deal with in this game. They are on inertia, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, oh no, that's fine, that's fine. I'll take it back. 67 hours, 13 minutes. Okay. 
Let me just put in all the stuff for ECS and see. It did clear that light. Okay, we've cleared one light. Yay. We've got one light to go. <laughs> They don't actually have the descent. Well, I guess I sort of did the descent orbit insertion burn already, but that's not a separate burn in this. That was the RCS burn I did earlier, but they don't really specify that as a separate burn. Okay, well, I'm going to save state. And we're going to take a quick look at tutorial again to see what we might have missed. Well, let's try that. Okay, well we've done this before, but we need to try again. Huh, yeah, the ball does change. Okay. Looks like the landing point is supposed to be 350 nautical miles. Seems tight, but if that's what they say. That's the event timer. This is just practice run. I guess they want it in this orientation that it's in right now. Well, this doesn't look too bad actually. It does have the out and velocity lights on. It's got a whole bunch of lights on up there. <laughs> okay, interesting. Okay, we did that. Things will control our attitude. Proceed, burn location, proceed. Okay, let's switch to beta now. Ah, uh, this is fine. Accumulated delta V. So we're going 5,557 feet per second, I think it means. Well, I'm gonna put master on now. <laughs> Okay, so at T minus 35 seconds, the disky will blank for 5 seconds. And then I have to. Well, it's already on descent, so that's fine. Okay, we'll set that to descent 1. V99 will show asking for permission to ignite the engine. Press proceed and wait for ignition. Let's just check external briefly. Yep, that looks fine. Okay. Now well, we should probably just focus on the computer. Okay, it goes off as expected. Okay, proceed. Okay, so now it's ignited. Yep. Weird plume, but it's ignited. Yeah, initially it starts at 10% and then goes up to full thrust. Okay, at 40,000 feet, those lights, well, they already extinguished. Landing radar.
so then we say verb verb 57 enter delta attitude altitude rate computed altitude so that's the actual altitude marks on the windows so that they overlap Try to slow down the rate of descent to about zero feet per second. High resolution landscape based on the real lunar elevation data. P66 will start. P66 to stabilize the lunar module at zero rate of descent. Using the attitude hold mode, the module is pitched so it's level with the horizon. When you have control of the spacecraft, look at the X pointer indicator. Velocity components relative to the Z axis of the lunar module. I think it's this thing. Uh, click what to switch up the rate of descent. I don't see what changes the rate of descent. That's sort of important though. Oh. We're in mode 64 now. No boulders. I don't see any boulders. I don't, I still don't know which button I use to control the descent mode though. Oh god, there's boulders. It just rendered boulders. Okay, well, I don't know how to go down. Velocity. Oh, that's where it is. <laughs> no wonders I couldn't see the bloody thing. Okay, that's satisfactory. You know what, we can go down faster. Well, let's cheat and go in the external view. How are we? Uh, oh, there's a boulder right there, but it's an interesting boulder, so maybe it's all right. <laughs> I don't think we'll hit it. Now, where's the propellant remaining? Oh, up there. Oh, we're not too bad. 36%? Crazy. They really overdo it on how much propulsion we have. Sixty meters. Yeah, we're fine. Oh, uh, we we can actually use T and G. It looks like. No, it's not really nulled. But I think we're on the surface. Ah, stop. Oh no, we weren't. Oh no, we weren't. Oh, oh, I. <laughs> How is it that in every game I almost or I completely tip it over, huh? How how does that happen? Okay, all right. Shows you landing. Okay, I'll make a note of that. Okay, well now we have to do it for reals, but I don't know if it's gonna work in the in the version that we have in the saved state. Okay, so mission pad, map, moon. Okay, all flight controllers, give you about five minutes to settle down your area. Uh, 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 let's get uh, some uh, 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 We're about 15 uh, minutes from our position. Well, where do we lose that defense stage, man? I better take a tape. That looks a little bit bumpier than uh, we would like. Get the bottom in there. But okay. Get the bottom underneath it, uh, cover. Maybe. 
a little further to like that. Okay, that's the time that they gave us, yes. Well, we have stuff ticking down. I think he said 20 odd minutes, right? Still can't see anything to verify that I'm oriented right at all. Oh. Oh, finally, not the stupid onboard tapes. Columbia, Houston, we're standing by over. Master alarm is off anyway, so that's good. That light's still on, but master alarm is off. We gotta have some suspense whether I'm firing the right way or not. We're very persistently seeing the earth through our window. <laughs> I think that's right. And nothing else. We're a little bit slow. And go. Oh, that didn't work. Go. We saw that buzz. Thank you, my child. Ten degrees right, right. I think you know. I wish I knew how to get the sun over here. I think I'm just going to trust it. We have altitude now. Arming descent engine. I'm going to save right here just in case. Uh, I hope that's that's probably not taking. The uh, we're off time now. Well, we're going. We're doing something. I don't know which way we're going. I think we're going the right way. Periapsis is going down. I'm 
I don't think I can line up the things on the window. It'll be fine, I guess. You got the operator? We're pitching. You can see our remaining propellants here. So they're six seconds ahead. They're six seconds ahead. Still can't see anything as far as the landscape is concerned, though. Tilting all over the place. Switching to a landing radar. Okay, we got data back. Radar point looks good. Roger. Yeah, they're doing the same thing. That's the altitude, uh, altitude light out that allows you to switch to the landing radar. We don't got no program alarms. <laughs> That's all their problem. Just just change in height. Delta, 
they throttle down, we have not. Still can't see the surface. There is a lot of void going on. Blue is our landing location. We are the purple line. Oh, we throttle down. I think that's the horizon there. But we will be landing in the dark. We're now in the approach phase, everything looking good. Altitude 5200 feet. Controller's gonna go for landing. Hi, Texan. We're pitching down quite a lot. I think we've got light. Maybe. Or not. Oh, just the glimmer. Of sun. We should actually lit the landscape. We're at 2,200 feet. Good thing you take some time. Okay, we're going into hover mode. Oh, it shows the landscape now, even though we're in What does it look like? I'll take it. Down, 
Start descending. Somewhat intimidated by the look of the landscape there. Uh, no, I have 30, uh, I mean, I have more fuel than they have though, but they, it was counting it down. Mind you, we okay, were throttled like down, dollars, so it does last longer like that. Well, that was very close to be disastrous. Hold on, I need to switch off the RCS. Quite a landing site. Look at that boulder there. Hey, there's got to be good science here. That's the hatch. Oh, gosh, I'm already outside. Hold on. I think I should EVA, darn it. Tranquility Base, Houston, we recommend you exit P-12, over. Oh. It, uh, will it always give me the warning if I EVA? Exit lunar module here. Depress first. I, well, let's put it this way. Looking at the mission pad, I don't see a depress procedure right, yet. So since there's no procedure, I don't know. Maybe, uh, well, that's pressurization for right, the propulsion the system, the not for the thing okay. with Yeah, this is propulsion system pressurization. So, I don't think they've implemented that yet, so I think it's okay. Maybe. Maybe. 
It's fine, I didn't get blown out, did I? Uh, mm -hmm. Ah, I curbled it. I curbled it. 